Hello everyone, today I'm just going to show you guys how I flash custom QMK firmware onto my keyboard that it supports, or rather, it can pull multiple keys at once without uh, the keys being really far apart in time. So the default firmware has a problem that uh, when you press multiple key keys at once, they seem to be pulled really far apart. I have just set up my configuration or key map configuration here and I have compiled and downloaded the default firmware from QMK Configurator. So I flashed that onto my DZ60 as you can see here and I will show you what the issue is. So here there's this map. So as you can see here, I pressed all 7 keys at once for every single core that there is, but it's pulled really far, like the error bar has is really wide. It's spread across a long time span and it should not happen like that. Ideally you want all 7 keys to be pulled at once, so that is what I have done. So you can, if you modify the firmware a bit, you can achieve it. Uh, but please be advised that it might break your keyboard. It has not happened to me yet, but it's always wise to make a backup of whatever firmware you have, or just at least have the default firmware to be ready to flash onto your keyboard, um, such that of by the event that if you're if the firmware that I tell you what to do bricks your keyboard, you can at least recover it. But all that being said, I'm just going to get started. So first of all, you want to download QMK Toolbox and QMK MSYS. Um, you can just search it on Google. It's the first result. For Toolbox, you want to do the install. So you click on this. I've already installed it, so I'm not going to do it again. And then for MSYS, there's a giant Get Started button. So after you have those launched, you should have this, uh, maybe without the text over here. But basically, it's going to ask you whether if you want to install the drivers, you just say yes. It'll only show up the first time you launch it. So you just install it once. And for MSYS, it's going to tell you to run QMK setup. Um, if I launch it, in the, if I scroll up into the very beginning, it's going to tell you to run QMK setup. Um, I had some changes here, so I had to revert everything. But after you run setup, it's going to ask you whether if you want to pull the firmware folder, just say yes. And if you already have the firmware, you've already done this before, if you run it again, it's going to tell you where it is. So that is where my firmware folder is at. And it's going to say QMK is good to go. And just to prove that everything is as is, um, I can do git pull. It's up, up to date. It's just what it is. It's what you're going to get if you pull the folder on January 18th, 2022. So let's get started to the changes. So first of all, you want to go to the quantum folder and find action.c. And there's a lot of things here, but you don't have to worry about finding anything. Uh, most text editors come with a replace feature, so you just replace what you want to replace is send underscore keyboard underscore report brackets semicolon and what you want to replace it with is basically the same thing and you put slash slash space beforehand this basically tells the compiler to ignore everything on that line um, we're going to tell it to ignore everything that sends a keyboard report and then we will collect all the keyboard reports and send them all together and we will press replace all and it replace 28 instances and after you do everything make sure you save I will just click Control S from now on but please remember to do it because the changes will not go through if you don't save so we're done with action.c now you want to find keyboard.c and you want to include an extra file that has the send keyboard report function it's called action util.h so i want to type this line exactly so hashtag include quote action underscore util dot h end quote it's the same quote and end quote but 
Yeah, so you add that, and then you want to use your find function. You want to find matrix loop, oh, that's replace, oops, my bad. Matrix loop end. So you can see there's two instances. So here's go to matrix loop end. This is the actual label of matrix loop end. And then you can go to the line after and type send underscore keyboard underscore report bracket semicolon. Make sure you save again. So now that we're done with these two, there's one more. You go back to your root folder and you go to keyboards. And whatever keyboard you have, so in this case I have DZ60, and you go to the config.h file and just honestly you can put it wherever i usually put it the first thing you want to put hashtag define usb in all caps usb underscore polling underscore interval underscore ms one space one and you save again um to be honest i have not tested this by itself uh, i've seen other people do this but it has not helped me with the polling a single bit i have to do all these three changes in these three files at once so now i have this done you just save and quit by this time if you run qmk setup it's going to tell you like uh there are some issues like i did here there's unstash uncommitted changes it's ready to go but minor problems were found but just don't worry about it so now that we have our custom firmware um, we are ready to flash so just go to QMK Configurator and customize your key maps however you like it and just download it. Uh, I have it ready right here already. So after you're done with it, go to QMK MSYS and type in QMK Compile Space. And if I can find my key map, I think it's right here. An easy way to do it is to leave a space after the compile and you just drag the file into the emsys and then click enter and it saves you time from typing that entire long string of path so it's gonna go through i'm just gonna pause the recording until it's done okay it has finished compiling and at the end it should say the QM, uh, the firmware size is fine uh that looks good so now you go to the toolbox is where you flash it um, and then you flash the firmware onto your keyboard. This depends on the keyboard. Every keyboard is different. You should follow the keyboard manufacturer's instructions on how to do it. But for a DZ60, you simply press the reset button and then a yellow line should show up if I can find the button. There we go. So it says DFU device connected. So it's ready to flash. And then you find the firmware. Usually it's not in downloads. Um, I'm just going to have to find my QMK folder again. So it's in build usually. And then uh, I think it's this. Yeah, Piggy DZ60. Or not. Oh, it's right here. Um, the hex file. You find the hex file for this. And you press open and you do flash. So there I just flash my customized firmware onto my keyboard. I can go back to the game and I'll show you the difference it made. So before, remember how it has a very wide error bar? When, even when I'm pressing seven keys at the same time, I will try this again, and we will see the difference. And as you can see, that's really, really honed in in the middle, as opposed to like spread out like that. And that's it. Enjoy your keyboard.